Assalamualaikum everybody. My name is Radhil Mahboob, and last and and the last video we talked about the First World War. This video we shall talk about the Second World War. The Second World War was a global conflict that 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 started from that started from Germany and spread to almost everywhere. Everywhere it cost about one hundred thousand thousand people and. And a similar number of civilians. Okay, when and how it started? The first, the Second World War started started in September the first, nineteen thirty nine to September to September second, nineteen forty five. Five. The reason because of this was not because of politics like the First World War, but it was a direct result of the Second World War war itself. Now here's a map of of Germany. Of Europe. Now, well, here's Germany, and there's a new country. Now, this is where the Austro-Hungarian Empire used to be. This is where the Austro Austro-Hungarian Empire used to be here, but now it had broken apart. So, yeah, yeah, that yeah that was the cause of the First World War, and now Germany lost a lot of land. And and the Russia Russia also lost a lot of land, so a new country was made, Poland, and now Germany could not have had one thirds of its earlier army, could not have an air force or navy, so and they had to pay a lot of money which they could not get. Now Germany started printing money like paper, like normal paper, like this one, and because of this, the money's worth toppled. And Germany, Germany's economy failed. Now, when hit, now at the time, a, the, a new party called the Nazi Party gained power, and they seized Austria, Austria with Hitler as its dictator. So Austria welcomed them like heroes, and then they went on to to conquer Czechoslovakia by force. And and meanwhile, Italy, Italy who had been on the winner side of the war they they thought they would get at least until this much this much here but instead they only got a little bit so they felt cheated and a bad economy and bad government meant meant that the people were a little unhappy so when when a, a, a young man by the name of Benito Mussolini came along and said that he could fix everything the people the people uh, supported him and he overthrew the government and made himself a dictator so Italy and Germany both had similar ideals, so they became friends. And then, along with the help of, of the Soviet Union, Germany attacked Poland and they uh, took over. Now, because of this, Germany, Italy, and later on, and later on Japan, and later on Japan would become the Axis powers. And 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 here, France. UK and the United States of America and later on the Soviet Union would become the allies allies which fought against Germany Italy and Japan and uh, among other countries okay tell us about the most major battles well among amongst among the many battles of the second world war war like the battle of, of the Balkans the yeah Pearl Harbor well some of them there were six of the most Major your battles were firstly the Battle of Britain. It was fought during the earlier, earlier era, like earlier periods. Now, by now, France had fallen, and um, and you and the UK was alone. The they the Germany tricked France into believing it was doing what what it had done in the First World War by by invading through here. So the French. French thought of this and set its best forces here, along with help of, from the U UK. But now, since they had new tanks, they passed this impassable wooden ar wooded area called the Ardennes, and and uh, encircled the French and the British. They they slowly trapped them at this point here in Dunkirk, where the British later uh, rescued them. Now France had France in a few more days had fallen and now the UK was alone. Now Hitler wanted to attack, attack Britain, but first he had to to take on the take, take over the British Channel. They attacked over and over again which would which would be a failure 
clear and this would be known as the battle of britain the raf fought for hours to defeat them next secondly there would be the decisive victory at midway now after pearl, Har pearl harbor america was facing a lot of defeats defeat here defeat there so after a decisive victory here in in the coral sea the 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 japanese tricked the americans into believing they were attacking attacking the alaskan islands the illusions so but so but general macarthur ter, realized that it was a trick and they they uh, intercepted the fleet coming towards midway and they sunk four of Japan, japan's best carriers yes shokaku zuikaku among them and third would be the battle of, for the denmark strait i don't have a map of that area but so i'm gonna, just going to tell now 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 uh, one of one of the main super weapons that the germans produced were was among one of them was the super battleship the bismarck it had according to a british poem it had a, it had uh, guns as big as mountains and shells as big as trees this was just a sort of description now it was coming in in to cross the denmark strait to attack british convoys which were the lifeline of britain now now two two ships hms hood and hms ark royal had earlier been sent to intercept them like this this was these are the allied ships and they were supposed to corner them but instead they got cornered themselves so because of this uh, hms hood was was uh, destroyed very very badly be beaten up and ark royal was heavily damaged this later prompted the entire us a uh, uk uh, royal navy to attack that those two ships bismarck and prince eugen eugen and the and they both were later sunk while bismarck was re retreating then would be another decisive victory at stalingrad uh, i think yeah here somewhere here this place here now now moscow is over here so earlier the germans had crossed crossed uh, here the germans had earlier taken over after taking over poland they betrayed russia and continued into their territory and and then they got stopped right at the doorstep of moscow by the winter they retreated and then and then when the spring came they did not go back for moscow instead they did a very foolish foolish thing and went for the caucasus an area full of oil so hitler and his panzer army went here and were and were about to turn to the caucasus when when he he split it the smaller force was to attack the heavily heavily defended city of stalingrad grad and and yeah it was a very brutal fight and the bigger force was went on to conquer the caucasus which they failed at now it was a brutal fight and yeah it was a fight for every block and later the soviets encircled the germans and they won the battle till for the for the caucasus or later known as the battle of stalingrad next would be the the battle for el alamein in africa so here this is Ital italian libya italian libya so so earlier rommel the better known as the desert fox had been been pushed back until this this bottlenecked area area now he pushed back after get, after regaining his forces pushed back and took over all the lost land including the decisive port, port victory at tobruk this was bad for the allies and they made a last stand in the in the coastal village of el alamein a fierce tank battle raged and at last the vic the british remained victorious next would be another battle at at the philippines or better known as the battle of leyte gulf here around somewhere around here i, I marked it here so now the there were two like what in the in the charge with the in the of the pacific pacific here is pearl harbor and then two commanders after the battle of midway they took on 
after here, after a landing here in the Solomon Islands, they took on a very vicious just fighting, going from here to here and then to mainland Japan, while another force force went from these the Gilbert Isle these to here and then here. So in this in this in the force that was in the Leyte Gulf, they were cornered by a lot of Japanese destroyers, battleships, and cruisers. The, after a vicious fight, a uh, naval fight, they won, and the Japanese battleship, ship Yamato and Musashi, were sunk. Okay, what were the major attacks? The most major attacks of World War II were, were firstly the, the attack of Pearl Harbor, to, which brought America into the war. Now, after they, near the beginning of the war, Japan wanted to go, wanted to take over, over the Philippines, which they later did, but Philippine, the Philippines were under the protection of the USA. So Japan decided that they would knock out the US by taking over its task force and all that. And so they did. They took a very carefully planned, planned area, a path, and they decided destroyed the naval base at Pearl. Pearl. This would not go as planned and they would later counter strike. Then would be a ba the Battle of Leningrad near, fin near the Finnish border. I don't have a map of that either. Now, near, near the start of, the, of Operation Barbarossa or the battle, for, the battle against the battle uh, with Germans and Russians, well, now the, the city of Leningrad was thought to house the entire, entire Russian government. So the Germans lay siege to it for the entirety of the war. This would be a heavy loss for the civilians and they would not be able to get food. And then was the atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Now, after the island hopping campaign and the Philippine Phil Islands, they slowly, like, slowly started crushing crushing Japan and also with victories here they drove drove Japan out of, of Manchuria and the rest of China now now they had to resort to suicide aircraft attacks to to just stop the 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 Americans that did not work and to to make them into to make them surrender Japan and uh, America dropped two atomic bombs that completely destroyed the cities of Hiroshima and Naga Nagasaki. These would signify the end of the war and, and Germany and Italy had already surrendered by the way. Okay, so the last question, what were the positive, negative and positive consequences of the Second World War? Well, there were lots of consequences of, of this big war and like the other, the earlier one, World War One. Now here, for as for Germany, they did not have to to go, go all that Hitler committed suicide, suicide, and some sources say that he ran off to Argentina. Now, France, uh, Italy did not have to pay any dues because of they surrendered and fought back against the Germans. Bloody traitor! Now they they betrayed Germany and again fought against them. Now here and Germany was divided between the between the French, the British, and Americans. They later unified into East Germany and Russia took over took over all the Eastern Bloc countries such as Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Romania, Slovakia, Hungary, Yugoslavia, Albania, Bulgaria, and parts of Greece. So yeah, this would later lead on to the Cold War. And here, North and, North and South Korea were divided during that period. That is that is how that started. The northernmost point was purely communist, and the southern was democratic. However, positive changes also occurred, such as the formation of the UN, uh, and and yeah, better better technologies to help the future generation. Now, I, in my opinion, I don't really want any other wars, but with. Present politics, I think we're getting there. Okay, bye. I love this. Everyone, everyone, see you in the next video.